What's going on guys? I'm out here walking around and the reason I'm whispering I'm in the woods here is there's two little fawns right over here and I don't know where mom is but I'm sure she's close. Um, typically the does will actually leave their fawns for the first three weeks and uh, only come back two to three times a day for feeding and cleaning. Uh, but they will stay within like 100 to 150 yards, something like that. So we have to be extra careful when we're over here um, because mom, mom will, if she catches us, uh, she will, um, she'll come after me. <laughs> so I'm uh, going to just keep my eyes peeled looking for her. Another thing you need to keep in mind is it's okay to touch these guys. You know, a lot of people freak out. They say, you know, you don't touch them because uh, uh, fawns are born with no smell. and. And that's correct they are born with no smell however um, keep in mind what kind of smell it is it's a they're born with no deer smell so when we touch them we're putting on a human scent on them uh, so depending on where you live uh, what type of predators you have here on in, in the Blue Ridge uh, in Virginia you know we've got coyotes foxes uh, uh, bobcats things of that nature and those type of animals are, are typically scared of humans so uh, those animals don't identify our smell with a food source so uh, it's okay to touch them I mean I wouldn't go overboard the big thing is you don't want to pick them up you may hurt them they're very fragile at this age so. um, anyway let's get over here and take a look at them I can't wait to show you You two little guys were just born. Yeah. Y'all were just born, weren't you? Where's mama? Gotta be close. Hey. Come here. Come here. Look at you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can barely walk. Yeah, where's mom? Yeah. Oh my. What are you doing, little fella? Huh? Man. I don't see your mama anywhere. How about I sit down here? Man, that's amazing. You two are amazing. Yeah. Yeah, just hanging out with me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey there. Hey. That's incredible. You know, one of the most important things to remember um, when you're around these little guys is uh, not to imprint with them. Uh, and, and what I mean by that is the mom, the doe usually imprints with the fawn really fast within the first you know one to two hours but it takes these little guys it takes them uh it, it can take as long as five days so that's the most important thing we don't want to interrupt that uh that process yeah i mean this one here is still still wet a little bit Yeah. Oh, you licked me. <laughs> I hate to leave them, but it is nature, so you kind of got to let, let nature do its thing. I'm sure mom's close, although it kind of surprised me she hadn't come after me or try to run me off. So I'm going to walk away and see if she'll come out and, and um, I mean, they're just, they're right there. I'm gonna walk away and see if mom will come out and take care of them. So 
So I gotta make this quick because the storm's coming. But um, I did just want to say real quick, I mean, how cool is that to be able to get out and um, uh, get into the woods and have experiences like that, you know, one-on-one -on -one basically with nature. Uh, it's tremendous as far as I'm concerned, and it's a great way to live. That's one of the things I like about living in the mountains is the ability to do that, actually get out and plug in, so to speak. Unplug from society and plug into to nature. Um, for me, it is, it's, it's just super important to do that. Uh, it, 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 you know, there's a saying, sometimes we have to slow down to speed up. And I believe that's really what I'm doing when I get out into the woods. I'm slowing down and I'm learning and I'm speeding up as a result. Yeah, so that's it. So before I get rained on, <laughs> um, I guess I ought to wrap it up. Gotta go. See you later. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you like that video, leave a comment. Tell me what you're thinking. Give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you.